Welcome back to the channel guys. I've been itching to bring the dirt drag truck back out. I've been in the field a couple of times lately and the dirt is really loose and perfect, but the body mounts are still broken on this truck. So we're going to do something a little different today. I'm going to take you along for the ride and we're going to go ahead and design some new body mounts for this thing. I was just going to reprint the ones that I had, but this is the second or third time they break now. So I figured maybe it'd be best to try to go a different route and we'll get them installed that way hopefully really soon we can get out there and test this thing out again i'm looking forward to getting into that esc maybe adding a little more power and seeing if we can get a little faster but like i mentioned i wanted to change this up because they keep failing in the same spots you can see the two posts on the front one being they're just small they snap right off and the same thing with the rear the post snap off. I was thinking about doing something similar to the old Proline screw on body mounts with basically just like a threaded screw sticking out. And then I could come from the inside with a nut, basically a thumb screw and tighten it on. It would have eliminated the plastic post sticking out a sheer point there, but it would have been pretty tough to actually get underneath here and screw those nuts on. If you ever seen me actually put the body clips on, the front's pretty tough. The back's not too bad, but the front's actually kind of rough. So I started thinking about other solutions and actually thought about the X-Max. The X-Max obviously has a clipless body mount system. I won't be going completely clipless here, but I did kind of steal a little idea from the front body mounts on that truck. You can see in Fusion 360 here, I made a hook similar to like the X-Max has, and then the new front bracket will basically just be a latch for the hook to catch on. So the body should be able to go in at a bit of an angle, latch on to the front, and then we're gonna use the same design in the rear with the pins and the body clips, but I beefed them up just a little bit. Hopefully that'll help strengthen it up a bit. We'll still be clipless. We don't wanna see any clips on the outside of this body. I know it's dirty right now, but it's still pretty. I'm still loving the look of it. And like I also mentioned, it should be easier for me to put the body on if this all works out correctly, because I'll only have to put pins in the back. I actually have the new mounts printing right now, but first things first is getting these old ones out. Being that I have them shoe glued in, I have to go in and cut all of this out. So that'll be pretty fun. Get that taken care of, and then we can check out those new ones. Yes, it did take three attempts to get this last part printed, but on the third one, we finally got a nice solid part. It's really solid, actually. You can see there's not much flex there. Hollowed out the back a bit to lighten it up, but it's still plenty strong. Also, by the hardest, got those old mounts cut out from inside the body. Hopefully, I cleaned out enough of the shoe goo. We'll see when we get it mounted. Next step is to actually mount the pieces onto the chassis itself. So these two pieces both screw onto the chassis. And then we can look at positioning the other parts to glue them in. So now this is the fun part. Before with the mounts, and I'll still be able to do that on the back, but before I would take the mount, actually slide it in here, slap some shugu on there, and then place the body where I wanted it. Like I mentioned, we can do that with the back, but the front, I don't think we're gonna be able to do that. I could put this in here, but, and I'm seeing a problem here that I'm sure you're seeing too. I left a bit of space here, probably way too much meaning that the body will probably be able to move up and down, which it shouldn't be able to. I think I have an easy fix for that though. I have some sticky back foam, some EVA foam that I can just place along the top here and it'll actually give us a kind of cushion for the body. Just stack it up and that way the bottom of the hook here will grab our bracket. And actually with the foam on there holding it, it may hold it in place enough for me to put a little shoe glue on there and slap the body on top like I mentioned before. That actually worked out better than I expected, I believe. I can't touch it right now. I need to let it dry overnight, but 
Tomorrow morning, first thing, we're gonna pull this thing off of there. Maybe reinforce a little bit with some more shoe glue in places and really see if this thing's gonna work like I wanted. Hopefully it'll hinge just like I said and we'll just be able to pop those two body clips in the back and be done with it. Now let's see if this worked out like I planned. Should be able to just pop this back up, slide it back and the body comes off. Gonna go ahead and add a little more shoe glue on these parts just to make sure they're stuck in position but Pretty easy to line up that body now, slap it on. I really like that. So let me know what you think about this new body mounting system that I came up with here. Do you have a better design in mind? And also, let me know down in the comments below. Give me a prediction on how long you think this one will last. Will this one handle the abuse that this truck takes? Hopefully we're not flipping it over too much more, but do you think it'll survive if we do encounter a rollover? Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and make sure to subscribe if you're ready to see this thing back out in the dirt and don't want to miss the next running video with it. As always, thanks again for watching. Peace.